Hi guys and welcome to another WP Forms video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we created this simple form. We added a few little check boxes here and we also added a bit of conditional logic so that if they checked a specific box another little drop down would appear. So today we're going to go back in and we're going to add multiple choice, number slider and some paragraph text. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is put a little multiple choice in here. I'll put it under our last field and left click on it to enable you to edit it. And I'm going to say what operating system do you use? let's say Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Let's add one more and we'll say other. Now you can select to use image choices if you want and put your images in there. I don't particularly want that today so I'll uncheck that. You can put a description in which will tell them something about this field but it's pretty self-explanatory so I don't feel I need to do that. Let's go down to the advanced option. I'm going to check the randomized choices and I'll show you what that does in a little while. Now as I've got four I'm going to split this into two columns. Don't need to hide the label because I want them to see what I want there don't need a CSS class or dynamic choices. So we're good to go with this little one right here. Let's go back to our add fields and add a paragraph underneath. Just drag this and put it underneath and we'll use a little bit of conditional logic on this. We'll only have it appear if they happen to select other. So again left click on it to edit it and we'll say tell us about your operating system. I'm not going to put it as a required field because if they don't select that and it's not filled out it's going to throw up a flag. Now let's roll down to our advanced options. At the moment we've got a medium one. It's, I'll show you the difference. A large one is going to be a lot more content area like that and a small one obviously it's going to be less. I'm going to leave it just like that. Now we want to leave the label as it is. Don't really want to limit the length because they may have quite a lot to say about their uh, operating system. If you did you just check that and put in the number of characters that you want, want to allow them to put in there. Now let's add a little bit of conditional logic. I'm going to go down to conditionals at the bottom, roll down, hit the enable conditional logic. And like I said, I only want this field to appear if they select other as an operating system. So you can either choose to hide the field if or show the field if. I'm going to choose to show the field if they select what OS do you use, which is this here and if they check the other box right there. So it's going to show this field if they select something from what OS do you use and the something that they need to select is other. If they select anything else it will not appear. Okay now let's add one more field below and I'll put in a number slider. and it's put it in. I just clicked on it, it put it in below the last field. I want it just below that. Tell us about your OS field there. And to edit just left click like all the other fields. Now I want to say how many computers do you have? Okay. 
Again, you can put in the description if you want to. I really don't need to. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Default value is 0 to 10. I want to make it 0 to 100. Let's go on down to the advanced options. Field size, I'm going to make it large so it stretches all the way across the screen. That way if they, they've got to select from 1 to 100, there's a lot of space for them to do it in. If you want to change the way it increments, put it in here. If you want it to go up in 5s or 10, just put that there. But 1's great for me. Don't need a CSS class and I don't need any conditionals. So I think we're good to go with that. So let's just save this and go and check out our form. And when I refresh this, you should see the new fields appear. And there we have it. What operating system do you use? Linux, fine. Mac, no. Other. And you see that our little field down there appears. Disappears if they choose any other one. And again, it appears if they choose other. And you can tell us about your operating system there. Now here's that little number of slider. How many computers do you have? Just simply slide it up. And as you can see, it's incrementing at the bottom there. Okay, we put randomize on this here. And when I refresh again, it'll change the order in which these are displayed. So let's do that. See the others now down there. Let's refresh one more time. Others now on top. Not quite sure how useful that is in this particular case, but I'm sure for other cases it is really useful. So like I said, WordPress Forms is absolutely awesome. You can download it from my affiliate link below this video. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.